my name is Kat, and today I'm going to be talking about series I'm not going to finish. So over the course of my reading life, I have started many a book series. And for the most part, I am a series finisher. Like, even if I don't love a series, I do want to finish it for that sense of completion. But, of course, there are some series that I just... Uh, I don't really have a desire to finish. There's a lot of books in the world, there's a lot of books in this room, and I just don't have enough time to dedicate myself to every single series I have started. So I'm going to be abandoning some series, and I thought I would share with you guys which ones I'm giving up on. Okay? Okay. Let's do this. So first up, I have here the Beautiful Creatures series by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I've read the first book and I didn't hate it or anything. I actually enjoyed it while I was reading it, but that was a while ago. And as time has passed, my interest in the series has just kind of dwindled. I've also heard a lot of mixed things about the series and that makes me even more hesitant to commit all the hours it would take me to get through it. So, I'm sorry, but I'm giving up on this one. Next up, I have here the Chemical Garden Trilogy by Lauren Stefano. Another series where I read the first book and I just don't really feel like continuing on, even though I own the entire trilogy because I have a book buying problem. You guys know this. With this series, I have mixed feelings because I loved the writing style. Like, I thought it was very beautiful and it was enjoyable to read, but I just had so many issues with the story and the plot and the world that it kind of put me off from reading these two. I definitely want to read more by Lauren Stefano, but this series is just not for me. Next up is the Fallen series by Lauren Kate. I have tried to read this book on multiple occasions and it's not bad, it just never hooks me into it. I never feel a desire to keep going. And then coupled with the fact that I've heard so many mixed things about this series, it just leaves me very, very hesitant to commit my time and energy into finishing it. So, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I tried and I'm, I'm done, I'm sorry. Next up is the Wake Trilogy by Lisa McMahon. With this one, I do own the entire trilogy and I've read the first two books, so finishing the series would actually be quite easy, but I feel like I would have to reread the first two books in order to really get like the full impact of that final one. And I just don't have a lot of interest in doing that. I did enjoy the first two books, just not enough to want to reread them when I have my current TBR in the state it is. This is probably the one I feel the most guilty about because I could just read this book and they're so short and fast it would take me like three hours but I just don't have the desire to do so, I'm sorry. Next up is the Wing series by April and Pike. Now I actually have read both of these books and I did enjoy them, but I read these a very long time ago and I feel like I'd probably have to reread them before continuing. And to continue, I would also need to buy the other two books, which I don't really feel like doing. Like every time I go book shopping, there are lots of other books on my to buy list ahead of the rest of the series. It's been five years since I first read these books and I just, it's been too long. I don't feel any desire to get back into the series. Next up is The Body Finder by Kimberly Dirting. Just like the Wing series, I've read both of these books, but it was so long ago that my interest in the series has just faded with time. I did enjoy these, just not enough to rush out and buy the rest of the series. And now I've forgotten a lot of what has happened and I just, I don't think I'm ever gonna get back into it. Next up is a series that I think some of you are gonna be mad at me for, so I'm apologizing again preemptively, but I don't think I'm gonna read the Pretty Little Liar series by Sarah Shepard. I bought these first four books in a box set and at the time I was under the impression that 
it was a complete series, but that's wrong. This is a big series, so that kind of intimidates me. And also, I think I would prefer to just watch the TV show. I don't know, I mean, this is one of the series on this list that I'm more iffy on, like you guys could probably convince me to stick with it, but at this point in time, I'm just not feeling like I'm gonna read it. Next up, I have here the Confessions of Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison. Now, this is a series that I almost completed, like, back in the day, back when I was in high school, and I loved these books. So a couple years ago, I decided that I would obtain the entire series and just marathon my way through it. But as I reread the first few books, I found myself not liking them as much as I had when I read them in high school. They were still fun and funny, and maybe it was just the mood I was in, but I wasn't feeling them, and it's a 10 book series, so even though they're short, it's still a time commitment that I just don't feel like I want to commit to. Next up is another series that's probably gonna piss off some of you, but I just don't really feel like continuing on with the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. This is another series that people just have so many conflicting opinions about. I've only read this first book here, and I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. It was okay for me. I'm glad I read this and got to see for myself what I thought about it, but I don't think that for myself I want to continue on. I've been spoiled on some things that happen later on, and I also kind of just want to watch the movies and go into those not knowing what to expect. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. And finally, I have here a book that I do not actually have here because I already gave it away. And that is I Am Number Four by Pitticus Lore. Now this one is kind of interesting because I did enjoy this book and I might have continued on with the series if not for James Frey. If you don't know who James Frey is, then you can Google James Frey controversy or something and learn all about it. Personally, I just do not want to support in any way what James Frey is doing. And that's why I'm not going to continue on with this series or read some of the other series he has had a hand in, like Dorothy Must Die, even though I've heard good things about it. I just, I can't support James Frey. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Alright, there you have it. Those are 10 series that I'm not planning to finish. And that is going to be it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great night. And I will have another video up soon. So I will see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Of course there's a plane. It just wanted to be a vlog if there were not a plane. And next up, I have here the Wither. No, Chemical Garden, yes. I don't see myself continuing on with the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. I said that like really bitchily. <laughs> I personally am probably not going to be finished. Probably not going to be finished. Probably not going to be grammar. All right, there you have it. Those are 10 series that Oh my god, planes and dogs, what is happening to the world?